Here we're looking at simplifying algebraic fractions. The first question says simplify, and we've got 2x plus 10 over x squared plus 7x plus 10. To simplify a fraction, we're looking for something we can divide the top and the bottom by. And in order to do this, we're going to factorise. We're going to factorise the top and factorise the bottom. So for the top, we've got 2x plus 10. We can take 2 out of this. It's a single bracket. 2 on the outside. 2 times x makes 2x. And 2 times 5 makes 10. So we've got 2x plus 5 on the top. On the bottom, we can factorise into double brackets. We have x in both brackets. And we look for what multiplies to make 10 and adds to make 7. That's 2 and 5. So it's x plus 2 and x plus 5. So we can see we can divide the top and the bottom by x plus 5. So if we divide the top and the bottom by x plus 5, we are left with 2 over x plus 2. And that's our answer. That's simplified. OK, one for you to try. So give that a go. So the top factorises into a single bracket. We've got 3x and negative 12. So we can take 3 outside. 3 times x makes 3x. And 3 negative 4s make negative 12. And for the bottom, double brackets. It's a quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. We are looking for what multiplies to make 12 and adds to make a negative 7. That will be negative 3 and negative 4. And we can see that the top and the bottom both have x minus 4 as a factor. So we can divide the top and the bottom by x minus 4 to leave us 3 over x minus 3. And another example, this time we have the difference of two squares. On the top of the fraction, we've got x squared minus 81. They're both squared with a minus between them. So that will factorise to x plus 9 and x minus 9. That's the difference of two squares. And the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, again factorises into double brackets. X in both. What multiplies to make 27 or negative 27 and adds to give a 6. It's going to be 3 9s plus 9 and minus 3. So the top and the bottom have both got x plus 9 as a factor. So we can divide the top and the bottom by x plus 9, which leaves us with x minus 9 over x minus 3. And again, one for you to try. So give this one a go. So again, the difference of two squares on the top, that factorises to x plus 5 and x minus 5. And the bottom, it's a quadratic, we'll have an x in both brackets. What multiplies to make negative 35 and adds to give a negative 2? That's going to be 5 and 7 plus 5 minus 7. So x plus 5 is a factor of the top and the bottom, so we can cancel it, which leaves us x minus 5 over x minus 7. Here we have another example. This time we have x squared minus 8x plus 12 on top, and 3x squared minus 16x minus 12 on the bottom. So we've got a harder quadratic on the bottom, it's going to be harder to factorise, but we're following the same steps. We're factorising the top, factorising the bottom, 
and cancelling a common factor. So we'll do the top first. We'll have two brackets, x in both. And what multiplies to make 12 and adds to make negative 8. That's 2 times 6, negative 2 and negative 6. For the bottom, there's lots of different ways of factorising these quadratics. I'm going to do a times c, so 3 negative 12s, which makes negative 36. And we're going to see what multiplies to make 36 and adds to make a negative 16. So we could have 136, two 18s, and two 18s will work. So 2 plus 2 minus 18 adds to give a negative 16 and multiplies to give us a negative 36. So if we expanded the bracket, we would want plus 2 minus 18, plus 2x minus 18x. So I'm going to get that by writing 3x in one bracket, x in the other bracket, which makes 3x squared. And the term I multiply by 3, I'm going to put an over 3 at. So we want plus 2 and minus 18. So I'm going to simplify 18 over 3. I'm going to change it to 6. And if I expanded, I'll do 3 6s, which will give me my 18. So I'll write this out again with x minus 6 on the bottom. So 3x plus 2 x minus 6. So x minus 6 is a factor of the top and the bottom. So we can divide the top and bottom by x minus 6. And we've got x minus 2 over 3x plus 2. Okay, one for you to try. So give this one a go. So let's factorise the top. x in both sets of brackets, x times x makes x squared. What multiplies to make a negative 12 and adds to make 1? It'll be 4 and 3 and plus 4 minus 3. For the bottom, we want 2x squared. So I'll write 2x in one bracket, x in the other bracket, and over 2 because I'll do a times c, so 2 4s make 8. So what multiplies to make 8 and adds to make a 7? So it's 1 and 8, and we want minus 1 and plus 8. We've got 8 over 2, which is 4. So I can simplify that. Well, I've got x plus 4 on the bottom, x plus 4 on the top. So cancel them off, which leaves us with x minus 3 over 2x minus 1. And one more example. This time we've got a division. So we can, well, we've got different steps to do. We can factorise first or deal with the division first. I'm going to factorise first. It doesn't matter which way round you do it. So for the top, if I factorise the top first, I'm going to do a times c, which will give me negative 10. And I've got 2x in one bracket, x in the other, and over 2. So what multiplies to make negative 10? and adds to make 3, it's 5 and 2, and it'll be plus 5 minus 2. And I'm going to write the 2 over the 2, because I know that will cancel. It, 2 is a multiple of 2. And the bottom, if I factorise that as well, so x in both brackets, x times x makes x squared, what multiplies to make 3? It's only 1 and 3. 
how can I make a 2 plus 3 minus 1? So 2 over 2 is 1. Let's write the divide on the end as well. 2 over 2 is 1. And x minus 1 and x minus 1 cancel out. So what I've got left is 2x plus 5 over x plus 3 divided by 2x minus 1 over x plus 3. To divide fractions, we can change them to a times and flip over the second fraction. So dividing by 2x minus 1 over x plus 3 is the same as timesing by x plus 3 over 2x minus 1. So if I change this to a times and flip the fraction over, I can say I've got 2x plus 5 times x plus 3 over x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. And x plus 3 can cancel off. So I can divide the top and the bottom by x plus 3, which leaves 2x plus 5 over 2x minus 1. And that is simplified fully. Okay, one for you to try. So give this one a go. So let's do the factorising first. Actually, I'll do it differently this time. I'll do the division first. So I'm going to say x squared plus 5x minus 14 over 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 divided by x minus 7 over x minus 2 is the same as times same as the fraction times by x minus 2 over x minus 7. So I've got x squared minus 5x minus 14 times x minus 2 over 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 times x minus 7. Now I'm going to factorise my two quadratics. So x squared minus 5x minus 14. What multiplies to make 14 and adds to make a negative 5? It's two 7s and it's plus 2 minus 7. And for the bottom, I'll do a times c. So I'm going to put 3x in one bracket, x in the other, and over 3. A times C is 12, or negative 12. What multiplies to make 12 and adds to make 4? It's going to be 6 and 2, with a minus 2 and a plus 6. So I'm going to put the 6 over the 3, because it's a multiple. And the minus 2 will go with the 3x. So 6 over 3 is 2. So I've got x plus 2 on the bottom and x plus 2 on the top. x minus 7 on the top and the bottom. What have I got left? x minus 2 over 3x minus 2. And to finish up, two questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. So question one, we've got the difference of two squares on top. So x plus 7, x minus 7. And on the bottom, what multiplies to make 35 and adds to make 2? It's going to be 7 times 5, and it will be plus 5 minus 7. So we've got x minus 7 on the top and the bottom. It's a factor of the top and the bottom, so we can cancel it. We can divide the top and the bottom by x minus 7. That leaves us with x plus 7 over x plus 5. 
question two. We're going to factorize the bottom and factorize the top. So for the top, I'm going to put 2x in one bracket, x in the other bracket, and write over 2. So I do a times c, 2 fours are 8, or 2 negative fours are negative 8. How can I make a 7? It's going to be 8 minus 1. I'm going to put the 8 over the 2 because 8 is a multiple of 2. And I will leave it like that. On the bottom, what multiplies to make 20 and adds to make a 1, a negative 1, it's 4 and 5, and it'll be plus 4 minus 5. So 8 over 2 is 4. And I've got x plus 4 on the bottom. So that will cancel off. And it leaves me with 2x minus 1 over x minus 5.